Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be applying the waterproof membrane on the shower walls. I'm going to be using the True Guard Vapor Shield waterproof membrane. Just to tell you a little bit about it, it's a polyethylene waterproofing membrane. It's primarily used to create a vapor and waterproof barrier to protect the integrity of building structures from moisture, mold, and decay, and generally used in conjunction with tile surfaces of showers. Tiles can be installed directly onto the TrueGuard Vapor Shield using a layer of modified or unmodified thin set mortar. First, I'm going to start by making a straight line using my level so I know how far to bring out the membrane. I'm going to measure and cut the membrane to hang on the walls. And I'm getting so excited because I'm one step closer to tiling the shower. I'm going to mix the thin set in the bucket to get it to the right consistency. It's always better to start with the water first so the powder doesn't clump up at the bottom. When you lay this stuff on the walls, you want a thinner consistency so you can squeegee it out of the walls better. Remember to follow the directions on the bag. This one says to mix it for 5 minutes, let it stand for 10, and then mix it for 2 more. I pre-cut my sheets as you've seen earlier. Now I'm going to lightly wet the walls with water just to get any dust off and then I'm going to lay the thin set. I'm using a 1 8 by 1 8 square notch trowel and I'm ready to go. Once I get the membrane up, I squeegee all the excess out to get the air bubbles and create a tight seal. Pretty messy job, but it's fun. This kind of work is a really good workout for your arms. Get them nice and big. So now I'm going to bring the thin set over two inches so I can overlap the membrane two inches to get that corner sealed nice and tight. get the corners tight, you're going to hold it and then smooth it out. And then to do the other side, you hold it and pull it in the opposite direction. Get all that extra mud and bubbles out of there. So you remember how I said we need a two inch overlap? My next piece is gonna go two inches over to create a good seal because if we butt it side by side, it may not create a good seal.
Last piece. It's nice because this TrueGuard membrane has a two inch overlay line, which makes it a lot easier. You ready for it? You could buy a prefabricated curb or make your own like I did. I took four two by fours and nailed them in as I stacked them on top of each other. Then I put a layer of thin set and screwed the hardy backer down and this thing isn't going anywhere, it's sturdy. Now I'm gonna lay the membrane over the curb and the floor. I cut the hole for the drain and I pre-cut my corner pieces. When you're laying down the membrane, you need to smooth over the corners of the trowels because they come with a pointy tip and that could puncture the membrane when you're squeezing out your thin set. And I used a Dremel tool to file mine down. Bring the thin set up to the edge of the drain right here. But don't go past that. Remember you want that two inch overlap up the walls. I'm going to be using the True Seal Sealant Plus Adhesive just to give the corners a little extra protection. Using a caulking gun is pretty simple. All you do is make sure your grooves are facing up, pull the lever back, put your tube in, push it forward, and then turn it so the grooves are facing down. Then cut the top off at about a 45 degree angle. A lot of tubes have a foil seal inside which makes it easy to puncture with the nail but this one has a plastic so I'm going to take the cap off and cut it. You want to hold one side and then squeegee it up. This piece came with the shower drain kit and it has a nice barrier to keep the water out so I'm going to thin set it on. Now I'm gonna put this corner piece over the curb, right there. Now the shower is waterproof and ready for tile.
Don't forget to subscribe and share my videos.